Miles of desolate ranch land to separate one small community from another. To outsiders, these quiet communities may look like the perfect place to raise a family, but to those here, it's a nightmare. Just across the Rio Grande, a mere feet from where many of these people call home, there's a war going on that sometimes touches U.S. soil. Jose is one of those people who lives here in rural Star County. He says as the violence escalates in Mexico, so do his fears. He says it's very dangerous, dangerous, and it is very scary. It is that feeling that keeps him from showing his face. Jose isn't alone. Many residents we spoke with who live in this area say they live in fear. They see this border as only a thin line separating civility and chaos. He says a lot of people cross over and they are armed with weapons and we are scared. Woman tells us, yes, it's ugly. We get scared when we hear that cartel members are crossing over. We're just not safe. Most have a violent story to tell, usually with ties to the cartel. One woman says my father-in-law's car was shot at when the violence first started. It's a disturbing way to live, but what's worse, most can't move on. He says, I have no other options. This is home. He says, I don't have anywhere else to go. Trust me, if we did, we would leave. While residents continue to live in a state of fear, trying to make sense of what happened to their peaceful existence, law enforcement continues to try and get a handle on the violence that plays their rural county as they fight an enemy that's willing and ready to strike at any time. Oh, it's uh, definitely a different ballgame. Authorities say the guns have gotten bigger and the stakes higher as the desperation of smugglers grows greater. In the past, law enforcement uh, relied, as we still do, on our sidearms, but uh, now we need to arm ourselves just as, just as well or uh, any encounter that might take place. These men and women have to be prepared for anything and trust no one. It was uh, suspected to be a uh, subject involved in a fight in progress in a known drug area. In October, the Star County Sheriff's Office arrested this 19-year-old. After a careful search of the teen's vehicle, deputies find this weapon, a weapon Deputy Rosmo Rios says no average citizen needs to carry around. This was a 223 rifle, a long rifle, attached with an M203 grenade launcher. This bust prompts deputies and Roma police officers to check the teen's home. This room and found the various ammunition with regards to the weapon that was confiscated from him. The teen's intentions are still unclear. What is certain is that this kid wasn't playing with the toy. The job of these deputies isn't easy, but for those living here, they are the only hope left for the people of Star County. In Star County, Katie Lopez, Action 4 News.